Hello, everybody, and welcome into a special St. Patrick's Day edition of Patriot Baseball Weekly. I'm your host, Jonathan Davidson, and as always, my guest today is head coach Art Namnet. Art, happy St. Patty's Day. Thanks for being here. Same to you. Thank you. Well, it was a challenging weekend for you guys. Uh, Georgia College came in another highly ranked uh, Peach Belt Conference team. Talk about some of the positives that you saw out of your guys this weekend. Well, I thought that uh, we pitched good at times. I thought Jordy Santac pitched well enough to win in game two. I thought even Chance Ducharme pitched fairly well, and Stutes pitched okay. Um, we just didn't do enough uh, to get some key hits at some big times for us. We had a couple chances early in game one with some guys sitting at second base that we didn't get a good key base hit to, to put us up in that game. And, uh, you know, we got to hit with people in scoring position. We got to pitch a little better. I thought defensively we played okay. We got a lot of hits this weekend. I think we were close to 30 hits. But we got to get hits with guys in scoring position. That's the difference right now. Well, you mentioned uh, Jordy Santec's performance. He really was the most solid starter you guys had this week. And talk more about his outing. Well, he pitched well. This is like the third or fourth time he's gone out there and given us a quality start. And we need him to keep doing that. We need a couple other guys to step up. We're going to uh, put uh, Jeffrey Stoner in the uh, Friday night game this weekend down at Columbus and see if he can give us five to six solid innings. And then we're going to turn it over to bullpen. And then in game two, we'll go with Santac. And then game three, we'll probably go with Morgart because uh, 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 Barfield's still down right now and see if uh, uh, Morgart can give us, you know, three to five good innings. And then we'll go to the bullpen. Well, you mentioned uh, Randy Morgard. He's one of the younger guys that you guys uh, played this weekend. Talk about some. Uh, let's talk about him and some of those other guys that really stood out in your mind. Yeah, uh, R.J. has been on the shelf with an injury really since the fall. We've been bringing him back slowly, throwing him in some midweek inter-squad games am among the, our own team, and uh, he's done fairly well. So we decided to throw him out there, throw him out there this weekend and see how he did. Thought he did fairly well, three innings. I think he gave up four hits. A couple of runs, only one of them was earned. But the key thing, he only walked one guy and he had three strikeouts. So it was, I thought that was enough to merit earning him a start this weekend. That's going to be a tough start for him down at Columbus, but felt like he merited it. And we're not asking him to go out there and go nine. We're asking him to go out there and go four or five innings and have us in the game. And, and I think that's, that's doable. You mentioned your guys at the plate. Uh, season high 19 hits in the final game of the series against the Bobcats. You actually out hit them. Uh, what was the biggest key at the plate for you guys? Well, I felt like we had some good at-bats. Uh, we fouled off a lot of pitches and made it tough for their pitchers, and that's what we got. We got to grind at-bats out more often, especially in game one. If we'd have ground out some more at-bats, then uh, we would have probably had a better opportunity to uh, put ourselves in a position to win one of the first two games. But, but we didn't. We waited till the third game to, to really put the ball in play with some backspin on it. And, you know, we hit some balls hard in game two of the series that got caught. Um, defensively, they were really good this weekend and, and got to some balls that we felt like could have got through. But, uh, you know, they're a very, very good baseball team. Um, Michael Wilson had a big, big weekend. He had five doubles. Uh, Isaac Davenport had a good, solid weekend as well. Hit for average. Had a nice triple in that final game. Talk about some of those guys and some of the other guys that really stood out in your mind. Isaac and Michael have been playing solid for us all year. They're, they've been two cornerstones of our program now for a couple of years. Mike for three years, Isaac for this is his second year. We need those guys to uh, continue to lead our team in a positive direction and um, continue giving us good quality at bats and showing some of the other guys what a quality at bats like. And uh, they'll, they'll keep doing that for us. Well, let's go ahead and turn our attention now to this week. Uh, you mentioned the Columbus games this weekend, but let's start with uh, our midweek contest, we have a couple games here on tomorrow and Wednesday against Clarion University. What are you expecting to see out of those guys? Well, I know they hadn't been outside much. I think their record's two and two. Uh, looking at uh, some stats on them today, I saw where they split with East Stroudsburg last week, uh, and East Stroudsburg's number 20 in the country. So um, it, it's my guess that he's got a really good young team, and they'll be full of energy when they come out and play us tomorrow night. So. Uh, we got to come out and play good baseball and uh, give ourselves an opportunity to win tomorrow and on Wednesday. Of course, Clarion University out of uh, Pennsylvania, and so they have been dealing with some cold weather up there. Who are you expecting to start on the mound, and who you, you, do you want to get to the bullpen to get some work in? Uh, we'll probably go to Spencer. We'll start uh, game one on Tuesday night, and then uh, for the second game, it'll probably be Gordon Owens or, uh, or Cox, one of those two. 
In fact, both of them will probably throw a couple of three innings apiece, and then we'll, again, turn it over to the bullpen for Ducharme and Stutes and Dix and, and Hatfield and those guys. It'll be good to get some of those guys in some work in the midweek contest and maybe not quite as a stressful environment as some of the peach ball play is, and especially a guy like Spencer Jordan really could use a good outing. Yeah, we uh, moved Spencer from the weekend uh, to try to give him uh, an opportunity to relax a little bit. I think he's put a lot of pressure on himself, and uh, hopefully he can come out and give us a quality start tomorrow night. A player that was all conference a couple years ago definitely knows he has it in him, just really needs to get some work out there and get some confidence back in. And back out, out there on the mound. Yeah, he, he's not only getting a, a, a week off from the peach belt, but he's also getting a few extra days to, to help his arm situation out. We're hoping he comes out, feels really good tomorrow, and gives us a good solid five to six innings. That's what we need from him. Uh, long trip down to Columbus next weekend, as you mentioned already. You talked about some of the pitchers. You're thinking about going with uh, Jeffrey Stoner out of the bullpen and moving into a certain uh, rotation, kind of try to see what he can get out of him. What are some be, going to be some of the keys down there, maybe at the plate and uh, overall? Well, first of all, Columbus is a tough place to play. And uh, it is a long way from home. But I know our guys have the capability to go down there and win that series. We just got to play all three facets of the game and, and play them well, not give anything away like walks and hit batsmen. We just got to make sure that everything that our opponent gets, we make them earn it. And then on the offensive side, we've got to have quality at bats, keep people in scoring position, and get some key hits at the right time. And uh, there's a very thin line between winning and losing. And sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's so small that you can go back to certain times in a game and see where the game switched momentum. And, uh, you know, that's where when we get to that key point in the game, when the game's really tight there. We have to play very well and do the right thing at the right time to put ourselves in a position to win the baseball game. Art, right, thanks for talking with us today and good luck this week. Thank you so much. I'd like to invite everybody out to the Clarion games uh, starting tomorrow, Tuesday the 18th, 7 p.m. is the first pitch of the first game. It is youth baseball night and we'd like to invite all the area youth baseball players to come out to the game. They will get in free with their jersey. They also uh, allow two guests to get in free as well with them. So I'd like to invite uh, the youth baseball players and their families out to enjoy night at Sparrow Stadium. On Wednesday, the, 20th, the 19th, the game will be at noon. So a great day to come out and play hooky from work, take, take some time off, enjoy some great baseball here at Sparrow Stadium. The weather's supposed to be uh, warm and sunny. So come out and take advantage of a mid-afternoon game on Wednesday. Ticket prices for those games are $8 for adults, $5 for students, and FMU students are admitted free as always, and Swamp Fox passes will be honored uh, this weekend. Make sure to check out FMUPatriots.com, how you can follow along the Patriots on the road in Columbus State. And while you're over there, make sure to check out our social media pages at FMU Sports. For the Patriots Sports Network, I'm Jonathan Davidson. Have a great day, everybody.